<laughs> more cameras than I'll be in the middle. Uh, oh, really? Talk. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's cool. Welcome, folks, to a Big Talk with Bruce Dickey this morning. It is a glorious Thursday, December 6th. Hope you're having a wonderful morning. My guest today, it is Larry McGrew, the wonderful, the fabulous Larry McGrew. Oh, yeah. How you doing, Larry? Good, great. Well, uh, we'll get to you more here in just a second. Uh, you are watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV here in Flora on Channel 100 or Channel uh, 25. Also in Salem on Channel 3 down in uh, Jeff, Sisney, uh, up in Louisville, Channel 100. We do appreciate you tuning in each and every day and we thank you for it very much what is going on around the area today well with all kinds of community events going on today is the second annual complimentary senior lunch and over at the brian bennett library it's at 11 30 to 1 30 today a uh, reservation deadline you needed to be, be in uh, a few days ago the the meal is catered by m m courtyard cafe and coffee house and they're going to include a menu of spinach strawberry salad pork tenderloin and mushroom gravy green beans and their famous garlic parmesan potatoes you going over to uh, salem for the big complimentary senior luncheon I don't today. I don't think so. Okay, just no. a, well, I didn't know if you considered no. yourself a senior. Or not. No, no, I presume not. No, That's no. I, I didn't I was, figure you did. I'm still a pup. You're a pup. You're <laughs> young. You're exactly young. That's exactly right. What else going on uh, today? It's uh, uh, here at the historic Flora Depot tonight at six thirty. They're going to have their monthly weight loss surgery support group meeting, and uh, that runs from six thirty to eight at the historic Train Depot. Uh, you might want to uh, call six seven six seven. 7753 if you'd like some more information on that also uh, at the clay county hospital this morning runs till till about 10 45 starting at 9 30 so uh, you better get there in a hurry if you're on your way the life masters senior club meeting the clay county hospital life Masters senior club meeting will be at the hospital conference room today all residents over the age of 55 are welcome now i would turn to you and make some kind of smarty remark just like i just did however i'm getting a lot closer to 55 myself <laughs> it's like the speed limit <laughs> that's exactly right that's exactly right uh what else going on auxiliary pre-ordered poinsettia pickup if you ordered a if you had or had previously ordered the poinsettia from uh, the uh, the Richland Carl Richland Memorial Auxiliary, the pickup is today. You want to go over there from eight o'clock this morning, eh, about an hour ago, to about six p.m. tonight. So if you've already ordered one, you want to go over there and pick up your poinsettia. Also at the uh, the Flora Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center, it will be a Vicki Simpson on piano this morning. She's going to start at ten a.m. Probably go for about an hour. Oh, that's always a, a lot of fun. And a big one today at Heritage Woods here in Flora at 6 o'clock this evening. It is the return of the Roasted Chestnuts uh, Brass Quintet to the uh, Heritage Woods of Flora. They're going to play all kinds of Christmas music, and I should say we're going to play all kinds of Christmas music. I'm a member of the Roasted Chestnuts well, good. Brass Quintet. Good. So, yeah, my evening will be at Heritage Woods in Flora. Are you going to come uh, watch... Uh, some fun brass quintet music. Well, I think I might watch a junior high. He's Back got up something up. to do. <laughs> he didn't even know what time it was. No. He's got something going. Of course he does. Junior high boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's fine. Yeah, the roasted chestnuts will be there. We'll play for about an hour at six o'clock tonight. Eh, maybe not quite an hour, uh, but uh, it's it's good, clean fun. You'll uh, enjoy it. We have a good time, and uh, the folks out there at Heritage Woods will have fun. Join us. Come on out there and have a good time. What's on Wabash tonight? All kinds of good stuff on Wabash. If you're looking for something to watch on your cable television tonight, uh, on NBC, they got a nice little doubleheader this evening at 7 o'clock. It's Superstore, the big, uh, the fun little situation comedy set in a, uh, oh, like a Walmart, Target, Kmart style store. And uh, then after that at 7.30, The Good Place, it's their 
season finale, I think, or half season finale or something, whatever they're calling it. it uh, that'll be at 7.30 tonight on uh, on NBC. Check your local listings. Also uh, tonight on uh, Wabash Catch TV and NCAA basketball, it'll, there's not, not a very big slate of games tonight. Maryland is at Purdue, however, in the Big Ten. That'll be on Big Ten Network Channel 600. Also tonight, a big inter, uh, inter-conference game as uh, Iowa hosts Iowa State. I got to know, do you think, is this maybe the first time both those teams are, have played each other when they're in the top 15? Might be. Might be. And that one, that one good player is supposed to go to U of I at the last day, remember? When went to Iowa, Iowa State. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm going over there. Yeah. And That's they, not cool. No, and then they beat Illinois. Illinois could use well, that. I guess, <laughs> yeah. I guess so. That was THT. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember his name, but I just remember him as oh. THT. And he didn't go to Illinois. No. Because... Ayu Desumu, yes, the right. family. I'm glad you said that. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, he. The, the, there was some, maybe some tension. Right. That so was, let's one put was, it that way. One was ranked like number one in the state. One was ranked number two, and so and the number two said, "Well, if you got number one, I'm not coming." No, I think it was number one said, "If well, I come, you're not taking number two. And then I think uh, one that went to Iowa State beat. They beat Illinois. I think he had like 26. Yeah. 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 And then IU got hurt last night. IO got hurt last night. Did you see the end of that Illinois game? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you that. No. Yes. So somebody on Illinois got hurt? IO got hurt last night. Yeah, that's going to be. We'll, we'll see how long IO's out. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was a, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's. What that's kind a, of luck do they have? It was either IO. It might have been Trent. I think it was IO got hurt though. I didn't see the end of the game myself, but I saw. I saw him. Uh, uh, yeah, it was Trent. I take it back. It was Trent Frazier. So they, yeah, they lose to Georgetown and Frazier. They said got hurt that day in a walkthrough. How that's you, when he got hit in the head. How do you do that? He got hit. Georgie B- 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 uh Like uh, in a walkthrough. In a walkthrough. Yeah. yeah. And they lose that game in the last 30 seconds. We could sit here and beef about <laughs> Illinois basketball for the whole hour if we wanted to, Larry. <laughs> now let me tell you what else is on TV tonight. What else is going on in the NHL? The uh, Blackhawks are at uh, Vegas. That's on the NBC the Sports Channel. That's on Channel 643. That's at 9 o'clock tonight out there in Vegas. Also tonight in the NBA, uh, it's a doubleheader on TNT. Channel 633 at 7 o'clock. New York is at Boston. Austin, the Knicks taking on the Celtics. Celtics look like they've uh, maybe righted the ship as Marcus Smart now starting for the Celtics quite a bit. Speaking of Iowa State. Oh, yeah. And uh, also uh, Houston is at Utah tonight, and uh, that's at 9.30. So a nice little doubleheader on TNT tonight of the NBA if you want that. But if you don't want any of that, it is still football season in the NFL as tonight. Not that exciting a game. It is. Traveling to Tennessee 29. Also be on your local Fox channel. You might check that to make sure uh, to make sure you're getting it. I, I know you'll have it on there. Uh, but you know the the one thing that the football may not be all that good tonight. But with those two teams, you gotta figure, Larry, that they might have the ugliest uniforms of oh, all time. Sometimes and. And what happened to Jacksonville? Last year they go to the playoffs, they're right there knocking on the door. With they were one drive away from going to the Super Bowl. And then this year they come out and then they've lost, I don't know if they ch- uh, turn it around, they, one time they lost, what, seven in a row? One one drive away from going to the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl last year, and uh, yeah, they yeah they now they stink on ice. Oh, yeah. And their defense was tremendous last year. Just and then, tough. Just tough. But, but tonight, yeah, they'll see it's Thursday, so they'll have oh. those they'll have those full color uniform type of things. So Tennessee will probably be in those uh, bright <laughs> baby blues, and Jacksonville will be in those teal gold things. Hard to describe. Oh, yeah, yeah, hard to describe. Hard to watch. <laughs> yeah. Hard to watch. You're watching. Uh, speaking of hard to watch, you're watching uh, Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest is Larry McGrew. We'll be back with much more. Have a good time here in just after these words. Stick around. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City 
Allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. Lamont's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. Welcome back. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest this morning is, um, I, didn't, I just changed the thing over and it didn't change over. Doggone it. What'd I do wrong? <laughs> I was trying to put your name in there. <laughs> I messed something up. I don't know what I did. Oh, well, it's Larry McGrew, so you'll just have to take my word for it since I can't get the graphics to work. I'll see if I can't do it later. Uh, Larry McGrew joining the show here. And uh, Larry, of course, is a, uh, well, you might know him more recently from uh, the being the the huge radio star that, <laughs> that he is with uh, WNOI uh, doing the basketball and the football games uh, with the uh, WNOI folks, and it's, uh, joined now by Pat Garrett. Yes, yeah, get a chance to work with Pat Garrett That's after right. having worked with Randy Poole right. and Bill Thompson, Bill Thompson for years. Right. Uh, I, well, I'd all ask you the tough questions. I always ask the tough questions. <laughs> Who's uh, easiest to work with? <laughs> <laughs> all of them's good. All, all of them's good. good. There you go. See, he's a professional, there you go. ladies and gentlemen. All of them's good. <laughs> I saw Pat last night. I didn't say it too much over the tournament over there. Starting my 25th year. Are you, know you really? 25 years. Well, you see, now you told me how you got started on that. Let me, let me ref remind folks how you got started on that. You, they just they plucked you out of the crowd while you were still coaching grade school basketball, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I taught driver's ed down at the high school you know, a few years, and Randy Poole came down there one time, and we was getting ready to take off in the driver's ed car, and I was trying to shoo him the a correct and safe direction because we was getting ready to take off on the driver's well, side. Well, didn't Randy know how to drive? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, he did, but he was standing on the sidewalk. Oh, okay. the sidewalk, and I'm thinking, <laughs> hey, it'd probably be safer, you know, if you yeah. get over here. Yeah, And he yeah. just said something about, like, would you want to, hey, would you be interested in doing a little basketball on the radio? Yeah. And I said, 
well, I hadn't really thought about it, but I guess I could. Yeah. And so that's kind of how it started. And this were Bill, while Bill was still there. That's right, yeah. Well, was, so Bill and I worked like 12 years together, Bill Thompson. Yeah. And then Randy and I worked 12 years together. Yeah. And now this year. So you got 12, nine. so now you got 11 more to work with Pat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 12, to catch 12. Up. That's right. 12, 12, and 1. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, no, that is. That is. That'll be nice. I see now. I, I, I of course, I, I'd known Larry. Actually, I didn't meet Larry until I was uh, broadcasting myself, um, because I was a football player. You wouldn't have paid any attention to a football player from Florida. Oh, no. Or, and I didn't play from Fairfield. I didn't play basketball, so you wouldn't have known. <laughs> Not uh, too much. Other than Wells, loud, big, dicky boys. <laughs> <laughs> Which, but, but, but see, I always. I, uh, I've learned to enjoy your voice from hearing you say, and you don't say it anymore because he's not there, and he's long, he's uh, long gone now. Not long gone, but near gone. Uh, it was all oh, Bill. <laughs> Mercy, Bill. Mercy, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Bill. Mercy, Bill. So one time when I got a, a Coach of the Year award up at Bloomington and Coach Crawford, T-Town. Yeah. And they have all those guys set up there. It's like the Supreme Court. They sit in tears. Mm -hmm. all the oh, office, really? All the big office holders. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they sit in tears. And you get your award, you walk by those yeah. big office holders. And so I'm walking over to get my award. And Coach Crawford is sitting there. And before I got about 15 foot from him, I hear this mercy bill <laughs> see now that's the thing yeah, you your 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 repu reputation preceded you and you didn't expect that no 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 that was funny uh, that, that's that's a lot that's really cool uh okay so you've you you bring up coach crawford you bring up we, we, you've you've worked as a coach as well as as a broadcaster you get to work with coaches all the time yes um are there are there some are there some coach is it easy to work with coaches are there some coaches that that maybe aren't that uh, real uh, anxious to talk to you now that you're on the radio as opposed to in coaching and you probably know the answer to that too. i'm just asking yeah well, you probably i'm know just the asking larry this yeah, is your show yeah that's right you know, <laughs> but i always enjoyed you and stan yes always used to you know, always no, we had a good time. Come down to the Mule Barn, right? And you guys would come up here. Yeah. So you know, it's kind of like a family. Yes, Masters, absolutely. Right. You know, and coaches are like a you know fraternity and stuff like that. But no, there are some coaches that will go out of your way and maybe you know in softball, baseball, or whatever, particularly give you some stats and all that stuff and like that. And there are other coaches that seem like they kind of want to conceal that and keep it to them. And uh, what's the point of that? I, I don't really know because, like in basketball, if they and I always go get the starters before the game, yeah. And some people kind of like reluctant, like well, who are you gonna give those to? I'm thinking, well, we're going to, in five minutes, we're gonna do the radio and stuff like that. And the way I always looked at it, you know, if you can't give me the starters now in five minutes, everybody in the gym's gonna know who the starters. Well, that's are. exactly right. <laughs> that's right. That's so. exactly. And as a coach, so, I mean, as a coach, what harm does it do? To uh, to let people know who's starting, like five or ten, fifteen, twenty minutes in advance. I mean, are you hiding something? Right, and uh, I'm sure they've been scouted anyway. Yeah, you know, and usually you start the same ones or you know the top seven. You know who's going to start, but yeah, there are some people like that, and other people are just go out of their way to help you. Yeah, you know. So it just just depends, and I don't know. I guess some of the, who the some of the ones that are easiest to work with. Oh, over the years. I mean, you, you you mentioned Coach Crawford. I can see I can teach Coach I can see Coach Crawford had a gruff reputation, but I but I suspect oh. he was easy to work with. Yeah, he's like a teddy bear, you yes. know. But he is, you know, he would uh, he put it in pretty plain English. I mean, that's why he's successful. And you know, the the old NEC and stuff like that worked so many years with that. And then when we went to the LIC, that was like a new territory. And you, you go to, just like going to Fairfield the Mule Barn. You knew who the scorekeepers were. You right. knew most of the referees. You yeah. knew you and Stan. You walk in the gym. You see all these familiar faces. And then when we went to the LIC, you got up in there and like that. And you didn't know a lot of people. Didn't know some of the referees. But I always thought you know most of the NEC coaches always worked with you. You don't like that. You got to had to take a while to know some of the LIC. Well, coaches. now that you've been in the LIC for about uh, what twelve years now, fourteen years, I suspect. I, I think oh one. I, oh, think, I think we went oh one. Wow. Oh yeah. I think we went. So you've been, so you've been in the LIC now for fifteen years, or seventeen years. It, wow. you, 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 it's it's the same way now, though. You walk into a gymnasium there, you know everybody. 
Not exactly. You'll know. Well, I tell you, okay. Not like the NEC seem well, like. Well, see, now that's the thing. You'll know the guys from Red Hill. You'll know the guys from Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville. Right. You'll know probably the guys from Olney now. Oh, sure. Uh, uh, exactly. Mark Weiler doesn't do much Olney basketball anymore, but no. you'll, know, you'll know a lot of those folks. Yeah, Flanagan, been yeah. there like oh, 20 yeah. years, yeah. you know, like that. No, when we started going that LIC, kind of reminded me of like West Terre Haute. You know, you're going up in there in Casey and Martinsville and Palestine. West Terre Haute. That's, that's what I call it. <laughs> West Terre Haute. <laughs> I'm thinking, that's a that's a long way away. That is a long way away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and then in recent years we added Paris, hundred yeah. hundred miles. Yeah. And Marshall, eighty five miles. Yeah. So you know, it used to it seemed like you went to Olney thirty minutes, Fairfield thirty minutes, Salem thirty minutes, Saint Anthony thirty minutes. Wow. Now, we don't want to put words in their mouth. Isn't that probably why uh, Edwards County jumped out of the LIC? Because of the drive? To, oh, it could have been, yes. Because one of the drive, one of the things is the long drive to, oh, Mar my. to Marshall and to uh, Paris. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. And I'll tell you, and then Paris, you know, not that the facilities, Paris, you know, Bill, like, depending on who you talk to, 40 or $45 million school a couple of years ago. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Complex. Yeah. Marshall's got an older gym, but it's one of the better older gyms, you know. And so, but yeah, you start going up in there, and like I said, well, when we went to Paris the first time, I'd never been to Paris. Oh, really? I might as well went to Paris, France. <laughs> <laughs> I knew about as much about Paris as I did, you know, in France, and so, you know, that's a pretty long trip. Did you, uh, did you do games in the old gym? Oh, Paris? yes, sir. See, now that old gym, oh. that was a great old building. Oh, right? mercy. Hey, we, we did the last game when they had the celebration and the dedication, and they said that thing held 3,000. Yeah. And huge, big old wooden stru structure, you know, like a barn. Oh, yeah. And it was 3,000, and they introduced, they went back through time and introduced the top 40 boys and the top 25 girls and some of the top coaches. Oh, you're talking about a celebration? And we rained on their parade and beat them in overtime. <laughs> Were you on the air the whole time? Oh yeah! All right. Yeah. See, now that's the fun part. Yeah. That's the fun part of broadcasting when 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 some when some unexpected event like that comes oh, up. Oh my! And your and your task is to uh, describe that to folks. Exactly. It's a lot of fun. And all those people, all those people in the gym, and they had some great players. Oh Paris. yeah. Oh certainly. You have I, Division One guys. You have I Kansas, Purdue, Kansas State, all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. We're just gabbing here with Larry McGrew and we're going to we're probably going to talk about this year's basketball at some point cuz he has seen a ton of teams already. We'll be back uh, here on Big Talk after these words. Please stick around. It's my choice. It's my choice. It's my choice. So many of our county residents have treatment or surgeries done at larger hospitals. What they don't always realize is that they have a choice. A choice to select where they can have physical therapy or any number of post-operative treatments and follow-ups. The county hospital is your choice. Talk with your specialist, surgeon, or primary care provider and let them know that you want to stay close. Close to family, friends, and most importantly, home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in healthcare. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond Chevrolet Chrysler in Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. 
Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Welcome back to Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. You're watching Big Talk here. My name is Bruce Dickey. My guest today is Larry McGrew. I got it fixed. Look, your name's over there. Oh, now. I see that. Yeah, hopefully yeah, it's that's spelled right. It's, 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 that's all spelled right, right? I think so. we got more <laughs> cameras in here than the Oscars. Well, let's go to this camera just to see if we can't get some folks to. Over there? Uh, yeah. yeah. See, 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 folks want to see the other side of your I, face, too. I was going to say right, left, left, and right. <laughs> folks want to like, see the, They want to see the other side of your, fa your pretty face, too, Like Larry. a dribbler. That's left exactly right, right. right and left. All right, I got a question for you. You were you mentioned uh, scouting, and you 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 coached at the at the grade school level. Yes, thirty three years. Thirty three years. Junior high. high, unbelievable. Junior high. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. You mentioned scouting. Is the uh, now I know that the, there is scouting at the high school level. It, yes. You guys at the grade school level scout too? I, I did. Did I, you really? I did because I thought that was part of it. If we was gonna play somebody and I thought everything was about equal, I wanted to see what they did or who the stars were or what they ran, you know. And so, yeah, I did. I was I scouted and then if we would get over practice or whatever and take off and go someplace, you know, 25, 35 miles and, and scout that. So and you I, would do it yourself though? You oh, would, oh yeah. You didn't yeah. send, you didn't have other folks out going no, no. and scouting for you? No, no, I'd do it myself. And like I said, I enjoyed watching the junior high games anyway. We well, still do. Oh, I do. That's why I said I've seen, I don't know how many. Started out, went down to Fairfield, had a tournament. They have a little tournament down there, you know, and uh, went down and watched the eighth grade play down there. And uh, and then I've seen several over here at the junior high. And uh, You're talking about already this year? Oh, yeah. This Where's year. the game tonight? Uh, here against Robinson. Okay. So uh, I call him the fight doctor, Louis Lusk. Ferdy Pacheco. <laughs> Ferdy Pacheco, <laughs> when he was okay. when he was a J, when he was a JV coach, anytime there was blood spillage, the fight doctor for sure, Louis Lusk, make sure he make sure everybody was check okay. All stuff yeah. out. That's another one of the things I always get a kick out doing these games and stuff like that. If there's blood spillage, it takes forever. It, well, it is entirely changed, hasn't oh, it? Oh mercy! You got to have the cap, the gown, yeah. the mask, the rubber <laughs> gloves, and they get that stuff out of that medicine kit that would kill Ebola. You know, yeah, <laughs> and you spray that stuff on there. Yeah, it cost I don't know a thousand dollars a bottle or yeah. something. But then, I don't know if you Ron Hacker, if you ever knew Ron Hacker. Oh yeah, the mailman. Yeah. So we was doing a game. Bill Thompson, and I was doing a game, and it was when you had Potoka was really really good, and South Central was really really good. Gary Shirley, and we did it at Potoka first time we'd ever been there to do a game. I think blood spillage out there to mid court. If you know Ron Hacker, not much bothers him. No. So they bring out this. Bottle of stuff that Ron Hacker's the official, right? Uh, the official, yeah. yeah. The referee. Mailman forever, etc. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they break the stuff out, you know, that would kill man eating disease or flesh eating disease. They give the bottle to Hack, and Hack looks at the bottle, and there's some blood spillage there. He pours like the whole court, like in, the whole court of stuff, like on one spot, and like ate wood up and nails and took <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was one of the funniest things. Have they ever like, had him back? Oh, probably not. Probably, <laughs> think about burn a hole in the middle of the wall. Oh, that's the thing. A lot of these floors you run into, they probably got 30 or 40 years of, uh, of wax oh, yeah, on yeah. top of them. Yeah. It, it takes uh, quite a substance to eat through all that. Well, that's what I mean. And usually you have a little spray bottle. Yeah. You need a couple of squirts, hacks, and we got to go. I'm just pouring the whole quart on there. <laughs> 
<laughs> so no, but yeah, I did scout, you know, and I thought that was, that was part of it. And I thought, you know, to to maybe gain an edge or something like that, and out of bounds. What are you players. looking for? As as, as a coach, I've never, I don't think I've ever asked a coach this. When you're scouting another team, what exactly are you looking for in particular? Are you looking for some kids' tendencies, uh, right, or, or just what the just what defense they tend to play, or what? Right, yeah, exactly, and you know the grade school or high school or almost any level you will have stars mm -hmm. okay so if you go into a gym and you see this one kid number 12 and he makes the first 20 points of the game you say he's pretty good he's okay yeah, he's pretty good <laughs> might want to guard I'm, that I'm gonna note this down number 20 he's got the first 20 okay so yeah you look for tendencies like that you look for people right hand right hand left hand left hand you're gonna press they press full court coast to coast what kind of out of bounds plays do they run do they shoot a lot of threes you know, do they play man the whole game? What do they do? And you just jot some stuff down like that. And like I said, at any level, you usually have a star right. or a couple. The reason I asked that question is I was, I was wondering if you, in the course of scouting another team like that, you're always looking for tendencies, and you usually get a chance to see. Now, for some team, you've, like, a new team that you're, you haven't played before. Exactly. A new team that you maybe get the chance to see them once. Exactly. Have you ever, you know, but, uh, oh, there are probably half a dozen games of a season of 25, 30 games. There right. probably half a dozen games where the star doesn't play well. Just like a pitcher in baseball. That's exactly right. Do you ever have you ever realized about five minutes into your game against this team that oh my goodness, I scouted them entirely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I made an incredible error on Scotty. If it's uh, in our favor, who cares? <laughs> No, I'm talking about the game you scouted the start didn't yeah, show up. That's what I'm and saying. Then, and then he shows up. Oh, oh you. you mean the other way? Yeah. Oh, I said, well, the, the, <laughs> yeah, just like he said, well, I saw those guys play. That guy had like four points. Yeah. And now he's made the first ten. That's right. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking the other way. Like no. I, see, I see a guy score twenty and against us he gets two. I said, that's all right. That, yeah, that works. <laughs> that's, all, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But no, you just have different tendencies and stuff like that, and see you know kind of what they do, and you know, like I said. When the uh, prime example, when I had Tim Locum in eighth grade. Okay. Tim Locum in eighth grade. Uh, that was fun. Uh, oh, Marcy, uh, seventh grade. Uh, they didn't have a whole lot of size the seventh grade before he got here. Yeah. And so the seventh grade, they played hard and tried and all of that. And I think they ended up 0 and 17. Yeah. So then Tim Loken moves in, and this gal that lived across the field from him told me at, at McKendree said, hey, this kid moved in over there and lives in the woods. I hear he's pretty good. And I, you know how many times I've heard that? I, hear I, he's I pretty, suspect you hear that every day. Oh, he's pretty good. You'll you hear that you go to the coffee shop. You oh, know, this kid's pretty good. Oh, he's pretty good. Another Marty Simmons. I said, really? Does he even play? Oh, well, they said he did. Well, Tim Loken could play. Tim Loken could play. He could play. And I think uh, offhand, I think he scored in eighth grade year. I think he scored 696 points and averaged 36.6. Okay? <laughs> so instead of 0 and 17, he held 13 and 7. Yeah. So when you got those guys and you draw up a play, a last second play, sometimes it's easier to go to. How often do you go to the decoy? <laughs> or how often, how often do you use locum as a decoy and let somebody else shoot? <laughs> no, Probably no, not real often. No, I was going to say, because if, if you didn't tell him to shoot, he had that tendency. He was a gamer. He, he, wasn't he, he was going to shoot. <laughs> He wasn't going to give it up too many times. No, he wasn't. Oh, that's great. Talking here to uh, Coach Larry McGrew. Well, not Coach anymore. Still, do people still call you Coach? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I like that. After 33 years, sometimes you earn it and deserve it. Well, yeah, sometimes you earn it and deserve it. Sometimes they may not want to call you. You might want to call you something else, Larry. Oh, <laughs> well, you talking about scouting. i got to tell you a quick story. Okay, go ahead. So I, was, I was about to go to break. But i tell you what. Hold on to that. Okay, we'll, 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 I got we'll, it. We'll, we'll, when we come back. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV, services and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952 delivering a great connection to the most important people we know our customers. So choose Wabash the local service from people you can trust. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. 
We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your healthcare needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at bruced at wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Your call will be answered in the order it was received. Tired of paying a big faceless company for your local telephone service in Flora? Now you can easily switch your 662 telephone number to Wabash Communications in Flora. That's right, Wabash can now provide local phone service to the Flora area and yes, you can keep your 662 telephone number. It's available to both business and residential customers. Call us today at 662-3636. Wabash, your local telecommunications provider. When you want an honest deal in hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Welcome back. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. My name is Bruce Dickey. Thank you so much for joining in today. My guest today, Larry McGrew, you were going to tell a story about uh, scouting. Well, you were talking about scouting, so yeah. you said, you know, sometimes you don't see these teams like that, so you go out and scout them. So yeah. we was going to have... Uh, one time we was going to have El Dorado. Okay. That's way down south. And yeah. They was going to be like in our regional, so I didn't know that much about them, so I took a couple of my buddies, and we went down to watch El Dorado Junior High. Oh, this is in grade school? Junior this, high. This is yeah. junior high. El Dorado yeah. Junior High School play, and, right. you know, he's sitting on the left side of the gym, four or five wooden bleachers, you sure. know. And uh, so anyway, there's a guy, we sitting on the last bleachers, a guy sitting there in front of us, and we was kind of spreading some stuff about flora flavor and Clay County and all this and that, and this one. <laughs> This one guy. Four of flavor? Uh, yeah. This one guy. This was, guy was listening. He, oh, he was listening oh, in. Oh, he was leaning back. Yeah, he, he was, was leaning, listening in. He was leaning back, and my buddy says, uh, now, then your uncle, Al McGuire, and he's still coaching at Marquette? And I said, well, uh, he might be. And <laughs> he might be. And I said, you know, he coaches at Marquette, M-A-R-K-E-T. <laughs> So we went out to get pop, and I left my clipboard there. Shouldn't have did that. But I left my clipboard there, and we out to get the popcorn. We come back, the guy was missing, and he wrote a couple of nasty things on my clipboard. <laughs> I don't think he. Well, now hold on a second. I don't what think did he, he believed on your clipboard. I don't think he believed that Al McCoy Marquette stuff. <laughs> But that was one of my scouting deals. That's I remember. Right. <laughs> no, that's a lot of fun. That, that, that's that's good, clean fun. Uh, uh, okay, now let's let's finally let's get to it. Let's talk about uh, basketball. What have you seen on the girls this year? You've done. You, you're still doing girls games. You're doing floor home games. Yeah, floor home game. Wolf gals and everything. And they're similar to uh, the boys. Uh, not a lot of size. Good speed and quickness. Not a whole lot of size. Youth, young, and everything. Play hard. And I was telling you there, uh, you know, uh, earlier when you play teams like T Town girls and stuff like that, that's usually not good. T Town, uh, you know, their reputation precedes. Them. That's right. And their T Town, the last game was there, and T Town's big, tall, strong, deep, and. Uh, 
she gave me a roster. I get ready to put in the book. You only put 15 names in the book. And the Coach Thompson, I don't know if you know her, uh, Coach Thompson, coaching yeah. there for a while. And she gave me the roster. And I said, I don't know if we got that many girls in school. <laughs> I said, I only get 15 in the book. You give me 28 names. Well, they said, no, she must be going for the, the whole program. Mercy sakes. I said, I got Who did mark- you put in? Just the seniors? Well, seniors? I went down. I said, you got to tell me some of these people that might not get in because I can't put, you know, 28 names in the book. But the Wolf Gals are pretty young this year. And like I said, not very tall. And I, But they uh, kind of hit their stride here lately. I was telling you, you know, not too long ago that they beat, I think, Woodlawn and Lawrenceville. And uh, they got coming up Robison at home, and I think you said you might do that game. uh, Wabash Catch TV will be there Monday night when the Robinson Lady Maroons are taking on the uh, Flora Wolf Gals. The 10th, I think. I think it's December yeah, the 10th. December 10th. Next December Monday. the 10th. That's right. Next Monday. And the Wolves are kind of like, you know, Coach F- uh, Phil Lee, I think this is his 18th year. 18th yeah. year. I fell on the show a couple of weeks ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. Good. That was a good. real good show. Good. Phil, Phil, Phil is a, it, it, Phil's it, a great guy. Phil it, is a, a lot of fun to talk to. He's talking about coaches and working with coaches like that. If you meet a finer guy. In the coaching business, then Phil Lieb, you have to go pretty far. You do, you really would. You know, he's a you nice really man, good guy, and good, good values. And the boy, this year the the Wolves, uh, two seniors and no returning starters, and I don't hardly ever ever remember that. I remember in ninety three, ninety four, we went through that. It's been a long time ago, but when the last time we went to state, years. yeah, we went to state. You know, in 05, and even the next year we had Cartwright came back, yeah. a starter, yeah, and like that. So he is basically a JV team, and uh, one guy Binky six four, everybody else about six foot. So not a lot of size there. So you're gonna have to have speed, quickness. You're gonna have to shoot the ball nicely, and then. You don't want to play Pinckneyville the first game. We got fourth in the state last year, and uh, Bob Wagner press you till the cows come home. Or that way well, you, know, you get you get done with Pinckneyville, then you got Oakville. I'll just turn around Oakville. Who won class one A? Yeah. <laughs> so how, how you guys doing? I said I looked at our side of the bracket. And I said I guess the Celtics and Lakers are booked. Got... <laughs> so that was well, okay. Well, they say so. Now you went to that Carlisle tournament. You uh, you, oh, you broadcast that Cascadia yeah. tournament. Tough. Eight Eight teams. Right. How many of those teams do you think have a, a solid chance or will win their regional? Oh, I think uh, – Seven? Six? Well, I was, was going to say, I think last year when it's all said and done, I looked, and I think the, the Wolves on their schedule had seven regional champs. Was that right? And some of them we played twice. So yeah. we played more than seven games against regional champs. But like I said, if you got if you got Oakville and Pinckneyville on your schedule, good luck. Because those guys are for real again, and then one of them, then they got beat by Greenville, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Hillsboro. Hillsboro beat. Oh, yeah. Okay, Hillsboro and, beat. And Hillsboro kind of showed up over there, and first night they ranked seventh and beat number two Freeburg. So Hillsboro then have a lot of people on the roster where they played pretty pretty good basketball. Woodlawn beats them in double overtime, and Hillsboro gets uh, you know knocked out of going to the championship. But Woodlawn will probably win the regional again. Yeah, Pinckneyville probably win the regional again. Oakville probably win the well, regional the folks again. Folks in North Clay got all they wanted from Woodlawn the other night. They were close with them for a while, and then ended up losing by fifteen or twenty. Uh, but uh, the North Clay boys, okay, uh, against Woodlawn. Against Woodlawn, they got this guard, and I remember him from last year. I think his name's K. I think it's. K A Y, I think his last name, and he's a shooting guard, and he played last year like leading scorer on the JV, and then he came in there against the Wolves varsity, and then uh, lit it up. Maybe that's two years ago, and last year I think he started varsity. He tremendous shooter, you know, mm-hmm. and you got to guard him because he'll he'll hurt you. But Woodlawn, another team, a lot of tradition, you know. They every year they just come at you. Who won that tournament? Uh, uh, Carlisle, yeah, Pinckneyville. Pinckneyville beat Woodlawn by I think like sixteen. Is that right? By sixteen, and then in the upset game, like I said, third place Hillsboro kind of upset Oakville. And uh, well, what's Carlisle have this year? Well, Carlisle was it got down to where uh, who was who were we going to play in the last place game? And Carlisle went in there and they won one game. They won they, one game in their one, pool. Yeah, and then they got beat in their I think by Greenville. Okay. So Carlisle I think just ended up winning one. 
So the Wolves played the other night. Play I told you he played Albion, and they, you know. Hey, tell me about the Edwards County game down there. Well, I tell you what, Edwards County. You know, Coach Gerlach. I told him he still he's a lion, but he's still got a wolf inside him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he helped Coach Lieb coach yeah. up here about nine. Well, you years. see, now that's the thing. He runs basically the offense. He runs is. Oh. It's it's Coach Lieb's offense, which is Coach Welch's offense. Look in the mirror. Uh, yeah, look in yeah, the mirror. That's exactly right. Yeah, and same thing in defense. I, I watched I, I watched Coach Gerlach for like six years at Wayne City, and then right. for, for He's three over or there. four years now. Yeah, at uh, at three or four years now at Edwards County. He's right, one, you can figure it's a man to man. Right. Yep. And so I said, you know, and the, over the years, somebody would give me the stats. You know, until a couple of years ago, I think the Wolves had had. Uh, maybe never lost to Albion Edward County and then somebody said no they did you know 50 years or so ago and so then they uh, beat the Wolves last year down at the Mule Barn and I knew in they the had regional. To, yeah the regional knocked us out and we had a seven point lead like 307 to go seven point lead and got away from us they make a three point play with 2.3 to go and beat us by two so they had some men on the team last year and I knew some of their best players were coming back this year yeah that Snicker kid and this Wallace kid Kate Snicker oh Mercy and uh, Marty Schmittler, uh, Nathaniel's little brother. And you remember Nathaniel a couple of years oh, ago, big tall kid. A couple of those that you get to go on and you get tongue tied at Schmittler, Justin Wallace. Uh, yeah, Snicker and Schmittler and Schmittler and Snicker. And it's like, wow. You got, two, you got two or three kids named Kate. Oh, yeah. You got two or three kids named Schnickler, uh, Snicker and Schmittler. And, and, uh, talking uh, Snicker, candy bars and <laughs> Snicker, Snicker. I'm like, but they can play. Oh, they can play. They're fun to watch. So they were. And then last year, I, I said again last night, I said, I hate to be. Be so re repetitive and so redundant at Fairfield, but I said I don't know how many times can we guard those two guys? Yeah. Can we guard you know S uh, Snicker and Wallace? Fifty points. Is that right? They had two two guys had fifty, and I'm thinking we might want to guard those two. You know, the thing is though, they're guarding them. That's oh. the thing though, Larry. They, they they're, they're guarding them, and they're, that's just talented kids. And they was in a groove, and they're making threes like you know, unbelievable. So they got those. But, guys. It was, but you had I thought you had a close game over there. Oh yeah. Oh, had a, this, oh yeah, yeah. This time, the other night. Not, not down there. Not, no, not a, not Fairfield, but over at Edwards County. Even. Right. So you so you're young, and so you're learning and baby steps and work in progress. So the last couple of games, the Wolves start the game down 9-0. That's not good. So you go down <laughs> no, there. That's, that's not good. You know, the old saying, you find good. yourself in a hole, quit digging, put the shovel down. <laughs> so the wolves dug out and dug out, and I think the wolves grew some whiskers. And I said, our guys are young and like two seniors. And it's like I said the other night, we played Greenville, and they had a guy with a beard and, and uh, goatees, and our guys don't hardly shave. We don't hardly shave. They did not. Oh, they did. Greenville. <laughs> they did not. Oh, mercy. Santa Claus is oh, playing. I was going to say good night. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are men, and and Albion and Edwards County. Those guys, six six, yeah, big strong yeah. football well, they, players. They, well, they've been doing it for they, they've. <clears throat> and you said this is Cage Nicker's sixth year start. Well, I said they need to go to <laughs> Wabash Valley Junior College. I told I told the girl like these guys been here like six years or yeah. veterans. Yeah. They need to move on. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I tell you, we're gonna we're gonna talk about all kinds of more things. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey right here on Wabash Catch TV. I might. Add ask you what you think about Paul Goldschmidt going to the Cardinals. Oh, my. Did you hear about that? Well, I saw that last night. Well, I figured he might be fired up, up about four that. players? Yeah, well, three. Uh, the three in the draft pick. Okay. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey with uh, Larry McGrew. We'll be back right after these. Please stick around. When you want an honest deal and hometown service without the runaround, go to LeMond, Chevrolet, Chrysler, and Fairfield. Let Gabe McGahey, Sheldon Bunning, Jeff Black, Dennis Downs, Matthew Rogers, or Caleb Dunn score the best deal for you on your next new or pre-owned vehicle. Parts and service departments with factory trained technicians and express lane and state-of-the-art tire and alignment technology. LeMond's always inspects your battery, antifreeze, wipers, and tires for free. We want you prepared for the open road ahead. Open 24-7 at LeMondsOnline.com. You'll like the way we do business. Get what you want and nothing else when you order a la carte internet from Wabash Communications. Wabash Communications is now able to offer a la carte internet called broadband only with fast download and upload speeds, reliable service, and unlimited data usage. No phone service is required for our broadband only plans. Our broadband only menu includes packages up to one gig download. Call us at 665-3311 now to order. Service availability and internet speed will depend on location. Contact us for details. Welcome to Clay County Hospital. 
Clay County Hospital and Clinics offer the best in services and care in the area with a staff that strives to provide the very best in patient-centered care. We offer full hospital services including radiology, therapy, surgery, labs, and emergency services. Our clinics located in Flora, Louisville, and Clay City allow us to reach out to Clay County residents so that you never have to go far from home for your health care needs. In addition to our regular provider staff, we also offer affiliated specialty provider services at our Flora Clinic. Finally, have a minor injury or illness but don't want to wait for an appointment? Our walk-in, no appointment clinic hours in Flora are Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. Make Clay County Hospital your number one choice for health care, convenient and close to home. Clay County Hospital, your number one choice in health care. At Wabash Communications, our goal is simple, to keep people connected. And today we are doing just that, better than ever, by delivering the latest technology and personal service only a local provider can offer. We offer services anywhere from fast, reliable internet, TV services, and home monitoring solutions to crystal clear local and long distance phone service. Wabash continues the commitment we started back in 1952, delivering a great connection to the most important people we know, our customers. So choose Wabash, the local service from people you can trust. Hi, my name is Bruce Dickey of Wabash Catch TV's Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Watch us each weekday right here on your local cable station. We're on at 9 a.m. with a repeat at 9 p.m. It's your local TV talk show with plenty of information, fun, and frivolity to get your start day started right or maybe even ended right. Please contact me at 665-9970 or at Bruce D at Wabash.net if you are a member of your organization would like to be a guest on the show at 665-9970. Big Talk with Bruce Dickey. Hey, thanks for watching. Welcome back. You're watching Big Talk with Bruce Dickey here on Wabash Catch TV. My guest today is Larry McGrew, legendary coach, uh, WNOI broadcaster, and Cubs fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now yeah, here I didn't know if you knew that. But, yeah. Well, I did know that. Yeah. That's why I ask you. If, uh, that's why I bring up, did you hear? That's why I said, <laughs> did you hear that the Cardinals picked up... Uh, the Cardinals picked up a new first baseman. Well, see, uh, being a Cub fan, I happened to catch that going across the TV last night. Yeah. I thought, well. So I, does that mean anything to you as a Cubs fan? Well, I heard of that guy before. <laughs> and, and I know and I know watching the Cubs pitch to him sometimes. Yeah. And he hits two or three home runs in a game. <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking, why do you pitch to him? Yeah. Don't he's, get, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Why do you pitch to him? But he's pretty good. What, six time all star and great fielder and great hitter and All right now, Larry, you've been a Cubs fan for sixty years. Oh, forever. Forever. Here for your entire life. For for yeah. all forty five year living years. That's right. Um, <laughs> I, I, is this the high time right now of being a Cub fan? These last, say, four years of, uh, oh, of being without a doubt, really? without a doubt. We went through those places, you know, where I remember that one time as three game series, when the first two in Chicago, San Diego, and first game beat back San, in eighty four. Okay, beat yeah. San Diego like yeah. fourteen to nothing. Yeah. Win the second game easy. Yeah, go out there, you know, best what th three out of five. Leon Durham lets it go through his legs. Oh. Bull Durham ball goes through, looked like a beach ball went through his leg, couldn't feel it. Took a bad, <laughs> took a bad hop to Sandberg at second base, like to tore his head off. And so we bring in Lee Smith, and I told my wife bringing in Lee Smith. You know, Lee Smith, that ball in his hand looked like an aspirin, it looked like a golf ball or something. Yeah. And the game's on the line, and Steve Garvey hit one about from here to Cargill. <laughs> uh, and you know Ladies what? and gentlemen, you don't know Cargill's about a mile and a half oh, that way. to the east. <laughs> to the east. And then I thought, oh, mercy. So that one got away. Yeah. And there's been a couple of ones, you know, and then we had the, the I don't. The, you know, I didn't really want to bring up 2003. Oh, that one in the stands with a guy, yeah, you know, Mar Martin. Yeah. Martin and that stuff. And five outs away. Yeah. Five outs away from going to the World Series. Yeah. Well, I had to go to school the next day because they were sitting there. They was just dripping it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Teacher you had clown. a chance to win game seven. Uh, oh, that was only game oh, no, six. Oh, it was up like 3-0. Yeah. You know, I think you hit a three-run homer. I think the pitcher hit a three-run homer. But I had to go in that teacher's lounge that next morning. He was sitting there waiting for me. Well, you know, there's some days you probably should just take a sick day. <laughs> yeah. Especially if the you're gonna face the music sometimes. Yeah. The, especially if the Cubs lost a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Now then, what is the deal with uh, since you're the Cub fan? You, you're, you're. I'm asking you as an expert on this. What's the story <laughs> on Theo Epstein kind of dangling around with Joe Madden's contract? How come they haven't signed Joe Madden to an extension? Well, that was quite a surprise there at the end of the year. I, I mean, there was a. Some full on tension, something them. going there, and then get rid of the batting coach, get yeah. rid of the assistant batting coach, yeah. Andy Haynes, Louisville boy, you know, assistant batting coach. Now he's going to Milwaukee, and as as the he's, he basically got a promotion. Oh, I guess so. And so, you know, well, they, you, you see, he's going to the division champs, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that was a, <laughs> those last two games the Cubs played this year, you know, meant something, yeah, in, oh, regu- yeah. in the regular season, yeah, it meant something. Lost that one and turned around, and lost the other one. But I don't know. That, that was strange. At the end of the year, you hear, you know, Madden wants an extension, and they're going <clears throat> like not so fast now. Why are they not so fast? Why, why are they slowing down on Madden? Let me. Let me. I'm asking you as a as a Cardinal fan looking from the outside. Joe Madden is the best coach in my lifetime. What? With the Cubs, I mean, now I liked uh, I liked the uh, uh, Dusty. I thought Dusty was okay. Oh, nice guy. Too. Uh, and he, but he, he's a pitcher killer. I mean, he, he'll oh, throw guys yeah. until yeah. their arms fall off. Whereas Madden seems to know what he's doing at the bullpen, and he knows he knows how to motivate. <clears throat> it, it, it may seem it, what he's doing may seem odd to everybody so, else. Yeah, but uh, but boy, he, he he gets kids to play. Doesn't well, he? he's productive. Yeah, and you know he's old school and he does stuff. The, you know, well, I, like, what are they doing messing around? <clears throat> like one time they let he let them all wear pajamas going. To the next game. Yeah. Well, how many Major League Baseball teams do that? Not very many. Or if you're in a slump, he brings all these zoo animals in and lets them on Wrigley Field. And so stuff. So I don't know what the deal is. There's a little friction. The only people who don't like that are the groundskeepers. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. you got to clean up after the giraffe. Yeah, that's right. Something a little friction there. You're talking about a, a pitcher killer. I sometimes think Madden, golly, they were sailing along there that, a couple of years ago. There, when they won the world championship, you know, and when guy gives up a walk and that's you four to nothing, he gives up a walk, boom, pull him. Yeah, really, sixth inning. Wow, Arietta. And then you go you go to the next game and you've got a guy in there, sixth, seventh inning, and he he gives up a hit and it's you're three or four up. So I don't know. That there, they they won most of those games, but yeah, that's the point. They won the games, dog on it, right? And, and I didn't understand, you know, like you said, there must have been some friction with the front office because he won an extension, and it's not like what have you done for me lately? Yeah, well, you won a world championship yeah. not too many years ago. Uh, well, that's the thing is uh, of that team or a guy like Kyle Schwarmer or uh, or Anthony Rizzo. Yo. they'll never have to buy a, a meal never, in Chicago never. again. No, or Joe Madden too. Oh, right, Swarmer hit that one almost in the Lake Michigan. Well, that was the yeah, that was Cardinal that thing. Well, no, no that, you're talking about the playoff one. Yeah. It landed on top of the scoreboard or whatever, and yeah, that was the Cardinal. Yeah, that was against the Cardinals. Yeah. thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they framed it for crying out yeah. loud. They framed the spot. Oh, they did. They put a yeah. little plastic box yes. up on top of the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really appreciate you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bomb. <laughs> that was a bomb. Right, well, I'll ask you: Are the Cubs are the Cubs going to add anything this winter? Because they haven't really added much yet, other than the new hitting coach and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I haven't heard too much about that. You know, there was, last year when Harper on the Nationals was going to go here, there, and yonder, and this year he came out, and last year, and I think this year too, his agent said he might demand four hundred million. Well, you could buy That's a lot a, of money. You could buy a foreign country, couldn't you? For four, <laughs> so for. Four hundred million. I remember uh, years ago when the, and Bush is in the news and everything, and and one of the Bushes owned the Texas Rangers yeah, or partnership yeah. or something like that. You know, George W. Okay, and they had uh, they sold the whole team for two hundred thirty-five million, yeah. and a Rod the next year. Got two hundred fifty million. One guy got two hundred fifty million, but they sold a whole team for two hundred thirty-five million. Oh, figure that out. That's it's it's mathematics. That crazy? In, mathematics in twenty eighteen, man. Of course. And so Harper this year, we was talking a while ago. Harper batted like two sixty-seven. First half batted You're like two seventeen. Right. You're gonna get four hundred million. Larry and I are just going to keep talking here, but I got to go. We got to get off the TV. Thanks very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.